Now let us see that. So for example, if I just call this number one and I call this number two, can you tell me which one is heat hematoma and which one is hematoma due to trauma? Obviously this is diffuse. So this is heat hematoma. Whereas this is traumatic EDH. This is traumatic EDH. Now, let's see the differences. Now, in EDH due to heat MI, it occurs due to heat, rupture of small veins, rupture of small veins. Because the heat expands the blood. Okay. In traumatic hematoma, EDH is due to trauma. There is rupture of middle meningeal artery. Okay, external hematoma is due to heat is bilateral or unilateral? It is bilateral because everywhere the blood vessels rupture, bilateral. Traumatic EDH is unilateral. It will occur only at the site of impact. Also, what happens is dura is firmly adherent to sutures. The dura is firmly adherent to skull sutures. So it is so usually what happens is in traumatic EDS, suppose there is a extradural hematoma is there, it does not cross the suture line. Why it does not cross it? Because dura is adherent to suture line. So EDS due to heat crosses the suture line, and in traumatic EDS does not cross. Honeycomb uh, appearance. So in what is honeycomb? Honeycomb basically means if you remember, I told you uh, when we discussed thanatology honeycomb basically means when if suppose in any parenchyma suppose this is the parenchyma any parenchyma in any parenchyma if there is presence of gas filled space in any parenchyma if there is presence of gas filled space suppose i should show it as a like this suppose there are gas filled space that is called honeycomb appearance so in heat hematoma because of presence of heat there is air bubbles that is the reason it gives heat honeycomb appearance. This gives honeycomb appearance. Whereas in traumatic ADH, it is not honeycomb. It is all blood only. Okay. So here it will be. So in EDH due to heat, it will be something like this. Whereas in traumatic ADH, it will be simply a smooth clot. So it will be smooth in traumatic ADH.